Well, one aspect uh, of the Queen's speech is confirmation of the public inquiry into uh, the Grenfell Tower uh, fire. And joining me now is the Labour MP uh, for Kensington, Emma Dent Code, of course, the affected area. In as much as what you've seen in terms of legislation that the government is now proposing following on uh, from the fire, are you satisfied? Not at all, I'm afraid. I mean, there was, there was very little in the Queen's speech. We've already said that we wanted a, a, an inquiry or whatever the whatever <coughs> legal mechanism will give us the answers that we need as soon as possible so that every question is answered. Um, you know, the, uh, there, there was nothing in there which would address the, the bonfire of regulations over the last seven years, which has allowed this chain of events to happen. And we had to look for the culpability and how has this been allowed to happen? How has our council got away with stashing money aside while they were not investing properly in public housing? I don't know how that yeah. has happened. We need to know how that's happened as well. You were a member of that council. Uh, were you resisting? A minority party member. Oh, yes, uh, well, loud you, and You were resisting after. the measures because there are people, I've talked to people in Kensington and Chelsea who uh, say that actually the opposition has been fairly supine in Kensington. Well, uh, uh, people who know me know that I've been shouting loud and, and often for many, many years on this throughout all the committees. As a minority party member, there's only a certain amount you can do. You can, you can, you can speak as often as you like. When hands go in the air, you're always outnumbered. There is going to be this public inquiry under uh, the Inquiries Act. Do you accept that that is the right way because we've seen after other incidents, a whole variety of different approaches. Is that the right way to deal with it, do you think? Um, I don't know, really. I'm taking advice on that. And uh, we, we, there may be an inquest as well. There may be, you know, the, there may be two things running Well, know, I think the inquest, has, the inquest can only, and, it will, will be delayed by a public yeah. inquiry. That we want whatever, whatever legal mechanism will give us answers in the short and, and longer term. We need, we need some answers. We need justice now and we need something straight away. We can't have any drawn out long process. People want to know now because the warnings were there. There's no excuse for this. There are very few mysteries actually and all the whole uh, decision making system is there to be seen. It's all there in the documents that they're collecting from the council now as far as I understand. Well as you know um, the Chancellor uh, and the Communities Minister have both said that they believe the type of cladding used was illegal in this country, the cladding used on Grenfell Tower. Are you clear on that, whether it was illegal or not? It, it certainly looks as if it was illegal. We haven't done the, you know, we haven't, we haven't presented the evidence yet, but that's what it looks like. That certainly is what it because looks like. Because the suggestion is that, in fact, it would be permitted if, as seems to be the case here, uh, a modification of plans was presented and approved, saying that that material uh, was going to be used, and that does appear to have passed through the council. Well. Not on my watch, it didn't. I mean, you know, I, I, don't just, I don't specify cladding on buildings. That's not my job. The scrutiny system doesn't work. It's not a decision-making process. We scrutinise what others have proposed to us. And on none of the yeah. committees, I know I've been criticised for this, yeah. but I wasn't, on, you know, I wasn't a decision-maker on any yeah, of those I, committees. We scrutinise and ask questions. I mean, to your knowledge, was there scrutiny of the flammability of the cladding material by the council or committees? Well, that, that's being investigated now. I, I, was, I wasn't there at the time and, uh, you know, I don't have a week to look through all of that. Plenty of other people are doing that now. I wasn't on the committee that was deciding on cladding at that time and I wouldn't be in charge of specifying. Whatever process that went through is being thoroughly investigated. I want to know as much as anybody else. And just finally, what your constituents need now that they haven't got, what is it? As I understand, they're getting a proper organisation on the ground via Gold Command. I've been assured that that is happening now. I had a discussion with them yesterday about that. They need reassurance. Uh, they need a lot of love. They need a bit of peace and they need to be able to grieve. But most of all, they need justice. Emma Denko, thank you very much indeed.